Sion approached us about uh, doing a show with Union, but they wanted to do like a, a t-shirt show. I like to think of us as being a little bit better than like a whole bunch of t-shirts on the wall in here. So uh, I asked them, can we twist it? Can we like get at artists that we work with that are part of our family who maybe don't get a chance to show their art because they're in like the t-shirt world or the graffiti world or whatever. Art gay or not gay? Art not gay. Not gay. No. Why not gay? Just... <laughs> Just expression of ideas, creativity, not gay at all. What's your impression of the show so far? It's nice, man. Beautiful new space. So this is the first time at this time speak, but you've been to the other yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of looked a similar, similar style, but but uh, this is a little bigger and nicer, I think. It's nice. New York to LA, I know you New York people's been in the AR, LA art scene, New York art scene, streetwear scene, all that. Uh, variants, no, not good or better, but which one would you prefer? Um, anything that these Japanese cats is down with, I'm fucking with it straight up. This is somebody uh, who I've really liked from Japan for a long time and I've been trying to find a way to work with him. I think his shit is really dope. I think I wanted to try and introduce it to America. Outside of Tokyo, I don't think people know about it. I think he does some really cool shit. I can see parallels even to like LA graffiti art. You know what I mean? Like the thin lines and the kind of crazy style. The mirroring between streetwear culture and t-shirt art to fine art. Um, do you think that it will continue to be a refined thing or is it just pretty much now at a stage where it's like, this is the cream of the crop? No, I think it will continue, always. There's like a certain darkness to it. There's like a certain, it, it speaks like Tokyo's subculture in the form, you know what I mean? Without like doing a bunch of like flicks of like cool looking Japanese dudes in sunglasses and like the busy nightlife, you know what I mean? There's certain, there's a certain like etiquette to it too, you know, and it's not overdone. It's like simplistic, you know what I mean? But deep and also kind of futuristic in a little tiny thing, you know what I mean? That's what I take from it. So I think it says something without saying a lot really beautiful. Yeah. Dude, I feel same thing. <laughs> I was gonna say. Art? Yeah. Gay or not gay? Not gay. Why is that? Yeah. Because it's just like it's uh, showing one's culture and showing what's one's knowledge and expressing oneself. I mean, the show itself had many stages and many transformations. This is the end result, but it wasn't about. It wasn't like we had done something before. It was some new shit, and he's done. He does a lot of dope shit. It was just trying to. So you guys pretty much put wanted to put out. You wanted to have yeah. everybody else be able to see. The original. The it. original concept was trying to get new artists who haven't had shine in LA. Get them a show. Get them some love out here. He's big in Japan. He hasn't done much in America. Rob was a. You know, he's big in the graphics world. Again, hasn't done, has done a lot of fine art, but hasn't done much fine art in our particular circle. So it's good. Uh, art gay or not gay? Is art gay? <laughs> uh, it's not gay. Not gay. I don't think art is gay. I mean, uh, there is gay art. 